Alrighty, so today's lesson is actually going to be our last math lesson for second grade. Yay! Um, how exciting, but so sad because I know um, to, this year has been amazing. No matter, um, no matter what had ha has happened uh, with this quarantine and having to leave school, um, we still kept pushing forward, and you guys have been doing your work, and I'm so happy and proud to have been working with all of you. Um, just um. Yeah, I'm just so happy and proud to get to know each and every one of you. You guys, some of you, um, it wasn't very easy for a lot of you guys, but you stuck stuck it through and you kept pushing. I know that some of you guys loved math and maybe it was, maybe not your favorite, but you it was easy for you. Um, and you guys too also have kept, kept up with your work and I'm um, very proud to have gotten to know you this year. All right, so let's get to work on our last lesson, uh, last math lesson of second grade. Um, we are working on unit 13, lesson eight. We will be working on picture graphs and bar graphs today. So usually we're working on one or the other. Um, today we're working on both of them at the same time. Okay, our objective is today I will draw picture graphs and bar graphs to represent the data and answer the questions about the data. Okay, our vocabulary. Notice that it has just horizontal bar graph and not, um, they didn't include um, a vertical bar graph, but remember that if we do have to work with vertical bar graphs, that's exactly like horizontal bar graphs, except for it's turned on the side, okay? Um, we do have cal category labels on the left for horizontal bar graphs. The number of, um, a scale is what it's called, number, number of both. Um, they have a scale down at the bottom, and then the scale label, and the title up at the top. Okay, um, and then the data is you is um, put on the graph in bars. All right, uh, for picture graph, we have also a title up at the top, and then our category labels are on the left. We do have a key with a symbol that you choose or that the, that the the book choose chose. Okay, and then you fill in the data using those symbols. All right, now our steps. Step number one is to read or gather data. Step number two, draw and label the graph. Step number three is to make a key if needed. Step number four is to fill in the data. And step number five is to gather, um, use the data or graph to answer any questions. All right. Number one, it says to use a horizontal bar graph below to answer the questions about the data. So we need to look at our horizontal bar graph Okay, and then we're just answering the questions. So usually we are filling in the data, right? And then we're answering the questions. But for here, all we're doing is taking the data and answering our questions. Number one, the first question says, how many books did Jordan and Valerie read all together? So we're looking at Jordan and we're looking at Valerie and how many they read all together. So when we look at all together, we know that we are adding. Okay. So Jordan, I look here, bar, I go all the way to the end. He read seven books. And Valerie, I go here all the way to the end and she read 10 books. Okay. So 10, and we know that we're adding seven, 10 plus seven is 17. They read 17 books all together. All right. How many more books did Valerie read than Carlos? So we're comparing Valerie and Carlos and we want to how we want to find out how many more. So we have to subtract. So we know that Valerie read 10. Well, we don't know how many Carlos, so I have to go look. So here all the way down he read eight. So 10 minus eight is two. Valerie read two more books than Carlos. Easy peasy. It's just a matter of looking at, looking up and figuring out what the numbers are and then adding or subtracting based on whatever the, uh, the question is asking you. All right, 
So number two, number two says use the same data to draw, label, and fill in your own picture graph. Then answer the question about the graph. So here, here we go. I know some of you are going to look at this and you're going to say, oh my gosh, what do I do here? Well, remember the other day when we were working on picture graphs, we color coordinated it, right? We did this. We said at the top is our, um, is our title on the left is going to be our category labels on the bottom is our key and on the side is our data. So if you need to color in color, I mean, outline the boxes, I would only because that's some of us remember better when things are color coordinated. Okay. So that's our, our, um, graph title. Right here in this yellow box is our data. And where did my mark go? We colored the labels. Uh oh. color the labels blue and our key pink. Okay, so now we need to fill in our, our graph. Our title is books read because all we're doing is transferring the data. We're not changing the categories or anything like that. So we're taking the same graph and we're just transferring it to make it a picture graph instead of a bar graph. So books read. Okay. Our category labels are exactly the same. So Jordan, Valerie, Carlos, Okay, then we need a key so we can choose any uh, symbol to lay, to um, identify each boat or each book. And I'm just going to use a plus sign. I think that's pretty easy to remember. Plus sign equals one book. Okay, so how many books did Jordan read? Well, I look right here and I go down seven. He read seven books. So I'm going to add seven plus signs. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. Valerie read ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Carlos wrote read eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, that's it. I filled in my box, my graph. All I need to do now is answer my question. So how many books did Carlos and Jordan read all together? Well, we're comparing Carlos and Jordan. Okay. Um, and we're adding them because it says the word all together and they read 17 books all together. We, and Oh, actually, no, that was Carlos and, and Jordan and Valerie. So Carlos and Jordan, Carlos read, we said eight and Jordan read seven. So eight plus seven is 15. They read. 15 books all together. Okay, how many fewer books did Jordan read than Valerie? Well, we know that Valerie read 10 books and Jordan read seven. So 10 minus seven is three. Jordan read three books fewer than Valerie. Okay, so you need to make sure that you're reading what the question is asking you because here they're asking how many more, how many fewer books Jordan read than Valerie. Okay, they're asking about Jordan. They're not saying how many more did Valerie read than Jordan. They're asking how many fewer books did Jordan read than Valerie. Okay, so that's going to be important for how you answer your question. 
Jordan read three books fewer than Valerie. All right. So I want you to get your structure guide to practice done and your final check and your student practice. And that is going to be it for your math for second grade. Good job, everybody. Good luck with your today's lessons. Let me know if you have any questions. Rewind this video if you need to look back. Okay. Um, Rewatch any of the older videos in case you forgot anything. Um, good luck, guys. Get going.